Hello guys, welcome back to my video. It is your boy Zion and welcome to another edition of X Designer Breeds. I am outside. We outside guys. And in today's video, I will be talking about my four female toy poodles. I'll just give like an introduction of who they are, you know, like their, their temperament, you know, break them down, the plans that I have for them, so on and so forth. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Cue the intro. Yet subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and hit the subscribe button below also turn on your post notification so that you are notified every time I upload and go ahead and like this video also share and if you haven't yet started following me on Facebook or Instagram go ahead and I will link those in the description box below so go ahead and start following guys all right so as you can see, we're outside, as I've said before, and I am drenched in sweat. I haven't even started the video right yet, and I'm already sweating. Outside is hot, guys. Dallas, Texas is hot. Um, so, before I jump into it, you know what? Let's just get into it, because my dogs have been out here for maybe like five minutes, and they are already tired. So, let's just bring on the introduction. So, I will, what I'll do is I will talk about some stats. At the beginning of the video then i will break down their personalities and then i'll give back an introduction of well not an introduction i'll give an idea as to the plans that i have for each of them okay i have four of them right and it's slowly growing for females at that i'll make a separate video um introducing the males so i have four females and they are precious i can't wait for you guys to meet them okay all right so the first one that i'm going to introduce is the first one that i actually got from my program zizi Come here, Zizi. Not Sophie. Zizi. No. Come here, Zizi. Come here, Zizi. Okay. Not so, Sophie. Not so I hope this doesn't bother you because I am drenched in sweat already and I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to finish this video so that you guys can meet my babies because sweat, we don't care, okay? All right, so the first one that I'm going to introduce to you is CZ. Her full name is Zenzali. And I'll give you a backstory of Zenzali just before, you know, just after I give you the stats. So ZZ was born on May 23. That makes her a year old. And she is 8 pounds and 10 inches. And she is a red toy poodle. She is CKC registered. Now, let me just hold her up so that you can see her properly. Right? she has that okay so before i got zz she was not registered and i was a bit on the fence if i should get her or not because i was uncertain as to if she's a toy poodle or maybe she's mixed with something but i i you know took a leap of leap of faith and i ran and i got her okay and i embarked tested her it turns out that she is 100 percent toy poodle and she is clear and i love her Everyone adores ZZ because of her very, very intense red, dark red color. Now look at that, guys. She has an intense red color. And I basically negotiated the best that I could. And I got her really, really down to a very reasonable price for me. And I am so glad that I got her. Now, I went ahead and I, I CKC registered her. So she is currently CKC uh, registered. I submitted the photos that they are requested or they recommended um, to get her registered and she is now registered. Now, ZZ has already had a litter of puppies. She already had multiple puppies. And I will pop some photos here at, as to how they look, what they look like. And I was very, very, I was anticipating that litter because I'm like, you know what, the first, time she's gonna have puppies the first time she's gonna be bred what are they gonna look like of course i wanted her to have full toy poodles but at the time she wasn't really registered and i already have my maltese here so i was like you know what let's just have her have multiples for her first litter and they were adorable 
Now, one of our puppies did not make it, unfortunately, rest in peace, but the, they were all adorable. You know, they were all adorable. We loved each and every one of them and they all found really, really great homes, okay? Now, let me just show you Zizi again before I let her go. And her temperament is, I love Zizi, but she is a rebel. Zizi is a rebel, guys. She is a rebel. She's the one. She doesn't really bark a lot, but she is the one that is very, very playful. She's always starting trouble. She's always the one to pick on the others, to want, you know, wanting them to play with her. Uh, she is just the one that is has so much energy. Look at her. She's skinny. It's not that I'm not feeding her. She's just, she has so much energy. She, she's losing all of those calories, guys. She has so much energy, but I adore her. And she is a part of my, she's a part, let's just call her my mascot for my, my, what do you call it? My icon, my icon. I will show you guys the picture right here of what I'm talking about. She's the one that I'm actually holding in my hand in that photo. And she is adorable. She is going to stay with me forever, guys, because I adore her and everyone loves her nice beautiful dark red color i've never really seen a color like this i've seen red toy poodles before and they don't have this very nice dark red color she is adorable now of course she's hot just like myself as you can see i am burning up i am drenching sweat and i haven't even started the video off right okay all right let's go to my next toy poodle sophie come here sophie come on sophie okay did I hurt you, girl? All right, so this is Sophie. Let me just show you that, show her to the camera. She's coming off a little white on camera, but she is apricot in color or apricot, however you want to pronounce it. Thank you, Sophie. All right, Sophie, let me give you some stats on her. Sophie was born on November 28th, which makes her two years old this coming November. She weighs eight pounds and she's also 10 inches tall, just like Zizi. And she is an apricot toy poodle and she is ckc registered so she came ckc registered and i just got her maybe five months ago maybe four four months ago and she is precious now sophie is the one that has been my mascot for a while because when i got her she was very nicely groomed i was the one who shaved her you know summer cut yeah, but I will show you a picture. She's the one that's going to be focused on the book that I'm writing for, for Toy Poodles, Raising Toy Poodles. So she's the one that's going to be focused on my book uh, that I'm writing. And she's the one that is on my Facebook page as well. She is just the mascot that I really, really love. Now, of course, she looks darker right here. I mean, lighter right here because I've shaved her completely. She's fully shaved. And so she looks completely different from those pictures that I'm showing you right now but Sophie is adorable as well now I should tell you that unlike Zizi which is much more so a, a dog person meaning that she's the one that's always trouble starting trouble with the other dogs and wanting to play with the other dogs Sophie on the other hand is not like that she is quite the opposite she doesn't play she doesn't want to play with the other dogs. She only wants to hang with me. She is a daddy's girl for sure. Sophie is a daddy's girl, I'm telling you. She will fight the others just to get to me. She just wants to sit in my lap. As you can see, she's very comfortable right now. Right, Sophie? Thank you. She's very comfy. She just wants to be by my side every time, 100%, always, like all the time. No, I don't mind that, but sometimes it can get annoying, especially when you have so many dogs wanting your attention sophie is the one that will fight them all to get my attention now i don't mind that because she is a human she, okay let me tell you this sophie by the definition of a toy poodle she's it if you look in the dictionary for for the definition of a toy poodle she is definitely it because toy poodles they love their human they love their owners they love their human companion and she is it also unlike zz sophie as you can see has the horse-shaped snout, the horse-shaped face. Now, that is the, the physical trait that I tend to go for in my toy poodles. Um, Zizi is precious. 
but I prefer my toy poodles to have the horse shape um, face like Sophie does. And the reason for that is because they are the standard in which toy poodles should to actually okay. be. So teddy bear faces were actually bred for because families or some breeders would prefer the teddy bear face, the teddy bear look. But I prefer uh, toy poodles that actually conform to the standard. And Sophie just does just that. And that is the reason why I said that Sophie actually is the book definition of what a toy poodle is. She has a very, very pristine structure. Her structure is great, as you can see by the photos that I showed you. She she stands well, her stance is great. Unfortunately, she's not CKC registered because she would be a champion girl. Uh, the reason why I said that too is because C, uh, AKC registered, that's what I meant. Uh, CKC registered dogs, um, I, I'm yet to, I've yet to find a show that actually accepts them, but she is great. Her stance is great. She, her, her demeanor is great. Everything about her is, is, is awesome. And so she's going to be with me for a very long time. Now, something that I want to let you know about Sophie, after these planes leave the building, is that I tried breeding Sophie a month ago. I did an AI on her and that was my first time doing AI. And I'm not sure she took because it doesn't look like she's preggers. Let's show you her stomach. It doesn't look like she's preggers. Now, I'm hoping that, her, you know, there's some miracle out there that I wake up and I see that, you know, her stomach is growing and her her tits are getting longer and stuff like that, but it, it doesn't look like it, guys. And if she is not, then we're just going to try on her next heat, of course. And my plans for Sophie is to produce apricot to red toy poodles because I know that she's going to, with her structure and her temperament, I believe that she's going to produce some beautiful puppies. All right, Sophie? Kisses? Yes, yes. Thank you. She's just a daddy's girl. Okay, guys, so let's move on to Chloe. If you haven't seen the video of me when I picked up Chloe, I'm going to link the video right here. Go and watch it, guys. It's very interesting when I actually picked her up. I picked her up three days ago, maybe, and I'm telling you that I fell in love with Chloe the first, the, the minute I saw her in person. She is great. Like CZ, she has that teddy bear look, as you can see. So let's talk about Okay, so just before we talk about Chloe's stats, let's show you Chloe up close and personal. There she is. There she is. She's right here. Okay, so let's talk about Chloe's stats. Chloe was born on December 7th, 2021, which makes her nine months old. She is eight pounds and 13 inches in height, which technically means that she is a miniature toy poodle, but she's a registered. A, min a miniature poodle, I'm sorry, but she is a registered toy. Chloe is phantom in color. Her dominant color is black and her recessive color or what I would call her other color is actually brown and she is AKC registered. And I went ahead and I dual registered her. So she is also going to be CKC registered as well. All right. So let's talk about Chloe. Oh my God. She's not a rebel. You know, I was, you know, after meeting ZZ, I was going to think that all teddy bear face toy poodles that are tall are rebels. She is not a rebel. She is so loving. She loves her human. She loves her. She loves me, <laughs> right? She is so adorable. Now, you probably can't see the phantom markings on her but she does have the phantom markings on her face, on her legs, on her hind legs. So she is phantom, so you probably only see the black on, on, the, on the camera right now. I'm not really sure what you're seeing there, but she is adorable. Now, let's talk about her, my plans for Chloe. Now, I want to initially, let's not, yeah. I really love solid toy poodles and I am not really a fan of the multicolored, the party-colored poodles, the tuxedo looks, um, so on and so forth. Speaking of tuxedo, she does have a tuxedo mark 
on her she does have a wide chest there um so i'm not really a fan of multicolored poodles however my friend told me to get her and after meeting her i fell in love of course and so she is going to be joining my program for phantom colors i want to really produce phantom poodles more so to darken the red on her well actually it's brown but i want to produce those that are black and red um so she does have that ky ky in her gene uh i haven't gotten her embark results just as yet uh, but that will confirm it as soon as i get them back and i am in love with chloe so she will be joining my program to help me produce those beautiful phantom babies. going to have to get up and we'll get the smallest of the bunch which is xantha and i'm just gonna have to go grab her inside because she will be out here running up and down and causing trouble for the others right so just bear with me bear with my sweat bear with my sweat marks just bear with me one moment while okay guys i'm back i am back with the baby okay and here she is here is xantha now I had to go grab her from inside because as you can see, she's also a rebel. And yeah, so let's give some stats on Xantha. Let me hold her up to the camera. You can see she is beautiful as well. Kisses, no kisses, Zan? No? You okay? Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the ex family. No? No highs? Thank you. All right, so let's talk about Xantha's stats. Xantha was born on April 11th, 2022, which makes her five months to date. I haven't weighed her, neither have I checked her height because she's still a growing baby. She is a silver toy poodle and she is AKC registered. And I also dual registered her with CKC. I actually picked Xantha up from, I don't remember the name of the state, but it was seven hours out. And I will place the name of the state here when I remember, if I, I don't think I'll recall the name of it, but I'll place it here in the, in the video. I can't remember the name of it, but I picked her up maybe three, three months ago. Yes, maybe. And I have been looking for a silver toy poodle for the longest. If anyone knows me, knows that I adore, adore, adore silver toy poodles now it's my favorite color right it's the color that i want to predominantly have in my in my in my program and i plan on getting two or three more silver babies because i love i'm obsessed i am obsessed with the color she is adorable look at her look at her look at her cute face now i will pop a video up here of when i went to pick her up of her jumping in her little kennel um the breeder that i got her from was amazing i've learned so much from her i am going to put her link in the in the video in the description um, box below just in case you are wanting a baby just like this she you can tell that she has been doing it for years and i've learned so much from just picking up this little girl I have learned so much. Um, I am planning on getting more from her, more silver babies from her, because she is adorable. And I'll also put a picture of her up here um, to let you guys see her. Obviously, if you guys don't know, silver babies are born black, so that's the reason why she has that outer coat, um, like a, a little black outer coat here. Um, and then closer to her, you know, if we should shave her, you can see that she has those beautiful silver silver coat coming through so my plans for xantha now i am planning to have xantha be a show dog because she is definitely a show prospect um i adore silver toy poodles and it would be so great if i have a silver toy poodle that actually participates in a show because she is adorable and she has grand champion as parents so it would be so good to try to continue her legacy as a show dog as a show quality dog obviously i haven't shaved her um just yet since you know i've gotten her so her hair will actually just be growing out until i i figure out the whole show show as the whole show arena the whole show aspects um because as you know 
having a show quality dog is like a whole other world okay and i will be taking you guys along the journey should i decide to um to show her okay she is adorable and she is my favorite she's my favorite of course i was saying i adore all of them they're all my dogs but because of the silver color i adore xantha and of course i had to give her a name that starts with x because of x designer breeds and which brings me to my next topic why is my program called x designer breeds when i have toy poodles in my program or maltese or and maltese now i started out my program because i wanted to have a variety of breeds and so i did not know at the time that i was going to fall in love so much with the toy poodle and also the maltese so that is the reason why I still have X designer breeds as my program, but hey, we can work around it. And I would very much like your suggestion as to what I could go ahead and call my program or what I could use my X designer breeds to incorporate my purebreds. Now, my thought is that I am just going to use the X as a purebred. So designer, X designer breeds, and the X is just going to be in place referring to purebreds. What do you guys think? right and xantha being that her name is x could be the star of my program because i love silver toy poodles right now thank you guys so much for tuning in with me obviously these are just my female dogs and obviously my program is growing and i plan to add more in the future uh, these are just the ones that i currently have chloe was the one that i just recently got and it's growing right i let's talk about plans for the future do i need any other colors introduced do i need any other females as of right now i plan on getting more silvers because as you have heard me a thousand times silver toy poodles are my favorite and i plan on getting two more to add to my program because they are just to die for guys guys they're playing with zanta zz and zanta I told you about ZZ, right? Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I will make another video um, introducing you guys to my male toy poodles. So stay tuned for that. Again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscription subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook and see you guys in the next video.